Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Mr. Matt Mayer. Matt, case of deja vu, I guess. Um, Wolves and Manchester United won. What did you make of that? Well, uh, pretty much what we've made of the previous two games in the Premier mm -hmm. League. Um, particularly, well, more so last, you know, the two home games, Tottenham and, and, and this one. Um, yeah, I'm not quite, well, we know how Wolves haven't won won the game because they've not taken the chances, they've yeah. been a bit unlucky with you know an incredible piece of goalkeeping, although I still think Romain Sice, you've got to... <laughs> you've got to hit the net, you know, yeah. You've just got to just, just boot it, you know, yeah. boot it over the, over the keeper's head. Um, and then a controversial winner, if we're being honest, I, I, you know, I thought at the time, in real time, I, I was a bit surprised that Mike Dean hadn't blown up for a foul, it looked a foul to me in real time, I know it mm -hmm. didn't for a lot of people, I think the replays... It's not a clever challenge. Yeah. Uh, and as Bruno Lager also made the point, is that United never kicked the ball out of play mm -hmm. when there was an incident in the first half. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Bruno Fernandes was down, uh, Nelson Semedo kicked the ball out of play when yeah. he was on the attack at the request of Paul Pogba. And then the flip, it flips around, mm -hmm. and no, United. I mean, that's, I mean, but that's that's Man United for you. Yeah, I mean, of course. But this is. Yeah, they don't they they, they don't compromise and um, you know what works what the rules for other teams mm. often don't apply to them. Uh, and yet, as, as much as I don't like to go into it, you know the idea that certain teams get favoured, it, 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 certain team, you know, but uh, it is incredibly it frustrating it's, because you look at the balance of the game and you look at the chances. I mean, this is a team transformed, not 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 in players. It's the same kind of players, but they are playing some fantastic football, yeah, really, yeah. and it, it's a pleasure to watch. I know that will start grating on, on you know on people yeah. listening to this yeah. when they're not picking up points but it is a complete transformation in the in the product that's on the pitch no it is they they you know it, they were really good to watch for the first hour i would say um, and uh, yeah i mean I, I watched wolves in the flesh five or six times last season and it was it wasn't enjoyable at all it no. was dull uh, you know but that that was really you know what really exciting, mm. particularly you know, first half, Trail Ray, um, you know, it was unplayable at times. Yeah. The issue there is that it's kind of sums up walls of the team at the moment in that the end product just isn't quite there. And you know, ultimately, <coughs> yeah, they've, they've not had fortune has not favoured them. Fortune has not favoured them. But at some point at some point you've got to start making your own yeah. luck. Um, you know, and, and it hasn't all been bad luck, you know, the, you know, there's been some questionable decision making in the final third. Some pretty pretty average, pretty average finishing, mm. and that's why you haven't scored. That's yeah. why you haven't got any points. Mm. The, the issue becomes: at what point does does it start to just chip away at confidence? That is the concern. Yeah, you know, there were plenty, there's plenty of promise. Mm -hmm. You know, plenty, plenty of promise, um, and and theoretically, and most likely, it yeah. will click. Yes. The dam will burst. You know, they'll they'll they'll, they'll score. And it will, you know, the goals will float. Mm -hmm. Worth remembering two years ago, you know, they had a pretty iffy start to the season yes. under Nuno. Yeah. And, you know, and still ended up finishing seventh yes. and, you know, nearly qualifying for, for Europe. So it's a very, very early days. Mm -hmm. And they haven't, the performances have been far better than the results. But I suppose it's, it's that concern can they, you know, can they keep it going? Can, you know, don't lose heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not easy. And as we were just discussing before we started doing this video, Watford now just becomes a quite a big game yeah. because, yeah, I mean, look, you look at the fixture list. They've played Leicester, uh, Tottenham, Man United. Three teams who are either you know trying to get in the Champions League yeah. or you know aspiring to win the title. Um, so a really tough start. And I suppose if you looked at the fixtures at the start of the season, you'd have said there's a chance that Wolves won't pick up any points in the mm. first mm. three games of the season. I don't think you'd have. Imagine they'd do it in the way they have done. I don't uh, think anyone imagined you know, how well they would have played in these first three games. Exactly, you know, the performances would have been far better than perhaps we expected. But you do have to, you know, now you, you know, now it, now the road gets a bit easier. Yeah. No disrespect to Watford, Brentford, mm. Newcastle, Southampton. Those are the games now where they, they've got to get a, a healthy yeah. return of points because yeah. what you what you don't want, and I know it sounds overly negative, is to get into October. November and still be loitering around at the wrong end of the table sure. because you yeah. can just it can just become a you know you can just get dragged into things so 
plenty of promise, plenty of positives, but at some point it's about the results. And uh, look, I think I think Bruno will be looking to, to make some additions now, deadline day, only 48 yeah. hours away. Uh, a, a new signing unveiled, uh, pre-kickoff as well, I'll let you pronounce uh, his name. Thank you, Chan. There you go. It, thank, oh, really, I, it, it's got one of those names <laughs> that I'm just paranoid that I keep on spelling it wrong. But he's going to be good, Matt, he's going to be good. I mean, they, they, need, they need a bit well, of fresh blood, well, don't they? He was very good at Salzburg. Yeah. Very good at RB Salzburg. He went struggled to R last season. RB Leipzig. Didn't, he didn't exactly set the world alight mm. in RB Leipzig. Um, but that doesn't necessarily... I mean, I'm, you know, we need to see him play first. But yeah. we've been told that he's very, he's very quick. He's going to mm. add some pace to the, the forward line. Um, but for me, they, they, they do need a, you know, I think they need another defender. Mm -hmm. I think they need a midfielder. You know, I, I do think that you know that that, that last season yeah. after a while now has been mm. the, you know the, the one thing they need more legs in midfield. Um, but do you think that they look at it and they'll go, okay, we do need a central defender, but we've got Bolly coming back, we've got who's on the bench today, we've got Mascara coming back. Max Kilman has been unbelievable. Max can Kilman can we can we really just good. kind of get 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 away with that? And then even like Sean Moutinho, who who. You know, his, we thought his legs had kind of gone last season. It's, I thought he was pretty good today, to be honest. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. So, and so the fans will be like desperate for a play, and you can understand yeah. it. But if they look at that product on the pitch, do they think, oh, we can maybe, maybe if, we, if the play is not there, can we get away with it? Can we, can we get away with it till January? But Which I know is not what people yeah, want to hear. No, no. But it's a long season, you know, it's a yeah. long season, it's mm. a grinding season, and, and you do, you know, said there again, post match, mm. sorry. <laughs> the, uh, you know, we're. Um, We've only got 19 players at the moment. Yeah. You know that that's not many. Mm. Uh, you know, and, and yeah, for me, um, you know, you, look, a couple of injuries, and, and they're very short in, in certain areas. You, know, you talk about the defence. I mean, they haven't made a serious investment in defence no. since signing Woody Bolly. Yeah. It's four years. That's a long time. Um, it's a long. You know, it, it's still, it's still the, the it's the old guard. But you know the the. the, the, the the core of the team is still the team, mm. you know, that, that, that's, you know, that first Premier League season. Yes. Um, yeah, they need, they need, for, for me, they need freshen up. They've, le they've left it late, which is kind of what we, we expected, but mm. I think he needs, a, I think he's, he, he clearly feels they need a couple more and, you know, I, I, I agree. Um, you know, if, 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 if this is it now, then it's been a fairly underwhelming window. And my concern for Wolves is that, you know, they made up so much ground, you know, in that first, first two and a half years under Nuno. Yeah. You know, from the bottom half of the Championship to the top half of the, top half of the Premier League, to the point where, you know, they looked like they were going to really kick on and challenge, you know, the, the, the elite and threaten to break into that. And now it feels like, if they're not careful, they're going to give a lot of that ground back because other teams are pushing on. Yeah. You look at the pretenders, you know, Villa, Leeds, West Ham, yeah. they're all, you know, you know, spending money looking to, to kick on further. Mm -hmm. You know, Wolves have got to, you know, be careful they don't just start treading water, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having said that, you know, plenty of positives about the, the performance, but you just think, well, as, as positive as those performances have been, if he was given a bit of backing, mm -hmm. a couple of players coming in, um, then it could be, you know, so much better. So I think it's a big 48 hours. I really do. Big 40 hours. Could be some uh, some incomings. Fingers crossed. Uh, not to be today for Wolves. Wolves nil. Manchester United one. For all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.